Hello and thank you for tuning in with DNA Racing. Today we'll be talking about torquing lug nuts. Uh, what we have here is a 2006 Mazda MX-5 and what we will be doing is we'll be torquing one wheel but the application is the same for the rest of it. Uh, what I have as far as tools is I have a torque wrench, um, I have a socket and you need the specified uh, torque measurements for each vehicle. Uh, each vehicle is different, uh, so please refer to your manufacturer's specification for your vehicle, but it's pretty much the same for, as far as the procedure goes. Why is it important? Well, the first thing is, is that the lug nuts require a certain amount of torque, and also they require them to be correctly fitted to the vehicle. Um, it's important for balance, it's important for fitment, it's important for safety. In the racing application, it's important because the amount of G-force that goes to the suspension and the wheels uh, requires your lug nuts to actually be secured and also be torqued at the correct specification to be able to handle that amount of force. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have here is a normal torque wrench. And what you have is you have Newton meters and you also have foot-pounds. So what we'll be using is we're using foot-pounds. And inside this torque wrench is a spring which allows you to torque a uh, specific bolt, lug nut, etc. to a certain amount of specification. So let's go ahead and set it up. For this particular vehicle, I'm actually going to be going with 75. Uh, we don't track it, we, we actually drive it, but I drive it spiritually. And actually, the lease drives it spiritually as well. So what we'll do is we'll go 75. What I did is I rotated the knob. Most, uh, most torque wrenches are the same. So I rotated the knob and we're here to 70, actually, yep, 75. So what you do is here's a 5 and a 75. And what we want to do is, here's an important tip and a huge misconception. Um, I worked in the aviation industry for quite a bit five years for the military, worked on Apaches and drones. And one thing that we were told is never break a lug nut with a torque wrench. So don't, this is not to be used to break stuff. It's not to be used like a normal ratchet or a breaker bar. It's meant, it's a calibration, calibrated tool. You don't drop it, you don't break lug nuts, you don't break bolts, it's important. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're going uh, clockwise, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And what I'm gonna do is, you wanna use the star pattern always, anytime you lug bolts. What I did is I loosened this for uh, demonstration purposes. And what I'm doing is I go ahead and insert the socket in here. What I do is I start rotating it. And the way that the torque wrench works is as you rotate it, you'll hear a click. And what that means is that the amount of specific torque that you want on this lug nut has been applied. Now for you, all you very technical people, I know that the length of application of the socket, etc., and you know it has an effect on the torque you know all these physics but we're pretty close on so we go to the next one and it's done now Many people have different procedures. You drive it for, uh, let's say, a couple miles, come back, retorque it, make sure nothing has come offset. Uh, it's very important. Uh, another thing you could do is, as we come around, is make sure that your lug nuts are torqued. Since, I, since this is the only tire that I broke loose, what we're doing is we'll just use the same procedures. As you can see, these are already torqued. Now, checking these lug nuts like this won't tell you that you're at the right torque but what it's telling you, it's 70 and above. It could be over torque, under torque. But since I recently took them off, put them back on and torqued the wheels, I know that they're at the correct 75% foot pounds of torque. So pretty much breaks it down, but the last housekeeping tool you must, you must do is you cannot put this torque wrench just back like this. What you must do is you must bring it back to zero. Remember, this is a calibrated tool. And if you leave it, at 70, 80 foot pounds, 90 foot pounds of torque, what happens is the spring in there starts to get worn and it will actually uh, actually hurt the torque wrench. So it's important to bring it back down to zero and you're good to go. So thank you again for tuning in with Dini Racing and hope you have a wonderful day and good week.